In Indianapolis today, a farewell that once would have been unthinkable. Quarterback Peyton Manning, one of the greatest players in NFL history, was cut by the Colts because of concern about his health. There were tears all around, from Manning, from the Colts' owner, and from fans across the city Manning put on the sports map. Here's ABC's Josh Elliott. For Peyton Manning, the end was as emotional as the 14 years preceding it were brilliant. It truly has been an honor to play in Indianapolis. The man who never missed a start in 208 games, now let go by the team he turned into a perennial NFL power. The reason, an injured neck, operated on time and again, simply made him too great a financial risk. We've been so blessed to have him and, and um, you know, the, the good times we've had together, the laughs we've shared together. Manning has had four medical procedures in just 19 months, rendering his neck almost bionic. Nerve damage repaired, two vertebrae fused, even experimental stem cell treatments performed in Europe just this past summer. None of it would make him healthy enough to convince the Colts he was worth the $28 million bonus required to keep him. I've been a Colt for almost all of my adult life, but I guess in life and in sports, we all know that nothing lasts forever. Cold comfort for fans now in mourning in Indianapolis, a city long in the thrall of Manning's magic. I just never imagined him leaving. A lot of people are heartbroken. By any measure, Manning is one of football's all-time greats, a certain first ballot Hall of Famer. The question now, what does he do next? And Peyton Manning is nothing if not a student of the game, acutely aware of its history and his place in it. But most of all, Peyton Manning wants to play and will, if able. And there are already a gaggle of teams, Diane, anxious to help him do just that. Very classy valedictory, though, Thank you for the Colts.